wonderful. Sorry, the shadow. It's a thing. Look at this. Okay, so we normally show you the, the thermometer on the north side of our house in the shade. Just to give an accurate representation of what it is like to be outside in the sun, this is what we're looking at. <laughs> we're melting! I was stinking hot. But it feels amazing, and it's sunshiny, and we're loving it. Right, babe? We're loving it. It's great. He's over there. He's, he's trying to get a tan. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. But we're watering the lawn because it has like no water whatsoever. We're, this is our first year trying to keep grass alive. That's been fun. Kind of get you guys, it feels like we've been kind of in this whirlwind of we, we didn't really vlog much and we, because we had a lot of like family changes going on, right? And, and uh, just getting resituated and like sending my mom off. You saw that in the previous vlog. Sad day. Nothing really got done that day. It was just a sad day. They are on their way. They have been making their way through Canada. She's so stinking cute. I was like, mom, you should do a little clip for the happy peoples and say hi. And she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so she pulls out her little phone and she's talking to you guys. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you hear from her on what they have going on. Hello, happy people. This is Nana and Papa coming to you on our way to Edmonton in the territory of Alberta, Canada. Today we have been in dreary weather a little bit, which is nice because we have no air conditioning. Today was kind of like an uneventful day. We did see some um, fields of yellow, which were really pretty, and I Googled it, and it is the canola plant from a wrap seed and it is to make vegetable oil so that was pretty neat yesterday we had an awesome day as we were going through the um, British Columbia territory we were able to see a ton of wildlife we saw in the first part of Alaska we saw some moose and then we saw deer yesterday we saw, saw about eight or nine bear we saw bison all over the side of the road we saw um, uh, porcupines we saw caribou saw sheep as they went up the side of the mountain and it was just we just saw a ton of animals it was so neat it took us about 12 hours to get to our destination in Fort Nelson but it was worth it to see all the animals so we might add a couple snippets of the animals we saw we'll see if we get it in the vlog but um, I just hope everybody's doing great we're having a wonderful time we should um, stay the night in Edmonton and then hopefully head down towards the border tomorrow all the bears were black bears by the way Yes, they were black bears. Right on the, right, real close to the road. We were really close to them, so that was pretty cool. So, back to you, Jessica. No. So, they're making their way through Canada, having so much fun. They actually seem like they're having such a good time. Look at their own little adventure. So, that's been pretty awesome. Still a little bit like when I talk to her, or like I see her, or I see posts or texts, I get a little get a little emotional but that's okay we're making it through or I'm trying to really focus in on stuff that I have to get done that I've that I need to get done really before fall we're already thinking fall we're already thinking the W word we're just not, I mean we're not gonna say it out loud because absolutely not there's things that I need to start planning and getting ready for and things like that ie school School needs to be organized and ready and situated and all those things. So I've been focusing on that. Just, you know, keeping the mind busy, to be perfectly honest, you know, and just doing the laundry, getting everything reorganized after you have a big group of people come. So today's vlog, we thought it would be super fitting. It's like 100 degrees in the sun. Super, super hot. It's been like this for a couple days and there's no smoke. Normally we don't have one without the other. I smelled like a twinge of it this morning, but the wind picked up and it like took it away. It's amazing. With living in the land of the midnight sun, this is, this is some of the amazing things that happens. Literally planted my garden. You guys were there. June 1st, we, had, we put this garden in the ground. I started the cabbage, the cauliflower, the broccoli, and the zucchini in my house in April. And look at, look at what has transpired. I actually did like a little mini garden tour on my Instagram. If you're not following me over there, go check out our Instagram. You can get all the 
don't know. It's really nothing that special, but you know, I talk a little bit more often. And I say hi and show you different things. Anyway, this is our, this is the garden. This literally was put in June 1st. Check out how big it's gotten. Oh my goodness. Look at this. These are cabbages. Look, look at that though. Stinking big. My spinach is pretty much, you only, spinach is one and done. So you pick it and then it's done. So it's almost, it's kind of going to seed there. But we have our broccolis. Look at our little broccoli plants. Getting a little nervous because they were getting, they're ginormous. I mean, look at how big these puppies are. But they weren't, they weren't producing any fruit. But they're finally going. We have all of our snap peas. Some are climbing the fence like I anticipated. Not all, but that's okay. So we should be getting snap peas really, really soon. We have our huge potatoes. Look at this. Look at how tall. Look at how tall these, these potato plants are already getting. Oh my goodness. Something else in this garden besides the ones that I mentioned were planted by seed. So we've got our bean, our bush beans. We have our carrots. We have our onion and garlic. I don't know how well those are doing, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if I'm doing them correctly, but mm, trial, trial by error. And then we have turnips. We have kohlrabi over here. This is kohlrabi. That's doing pretty awesome. And look at, look at this turnip. Whoa. Don't know if it's supposed to be sticking out of the ground like that, but she's a good sized turnip. Been eating a bunch of lettuce, a bunch of spinach. My romaine finally kind of popped up. Um, let me show you my zucchini. I've already harvested all my radishes. So there's the zucchini. We've got quite a few. And almost every plant I have has at least one at least one little zucchini on it. First time in the ground in this area, nothing really special done to the soil. It was just kind of uh, topsoil. I'm feeling pretty good. It's so nice and relaxing to come out here and just work in the garden, you know? I've had a rough day or a long day or something and I'll just be like, I'm gonna go work in the garden. I'm gonna clear my brain, talk to, talk to Jesus and just have a little bit of, a little bit of downtime. Very, very excited. Anyway, the craziness of what is the midnight sun and how much daylight we have. We are actually losing daylight at this point, but you really don't notice because it's still light out all the time. Um, but that, it is, it's light all the time. So you're able to see exponential growth in a garden because of all of the sunshine. And I've been really dil diligent about watering it and fertilizing it and all those good things. Your guys' garden's going. I know there's some gardeners on here that said that you were giving it a shot and trying your hand at it or you've been a really seasoned gardener. We know how your garden is doing. One of the things we have mentioned to you too is that we don't have air conditioning really here in Alaska. There probably are like some really fancy homes. For the most part, most of the residential homes don't have them. But with our house being as we... We built this, right? So we, we kind of planned, we wanted to make sure it was really well insulated, not only for our winters, but also for our summers with our 12 inch walls, really, really, really good insulated. And our house actually stays really, really cool. Let me go show you what the temperature is inside our house when it's 100 degrees in the, in the sunshine. I can't believe it's that hot. How cool is that? <laughs> no pun intended. But it stays super, super cool in here. You actually, I'm actually almost cold in here. I have like sweatshirt on and and socks and everything. Anyway, we do stay nice and cool in here, thankfully. Now our upstairs, on the other hand, mm, don't go up there. Don't go up there. She gets real hot. We have gymnastics today. We are gonna go take Evelyn to gym um, here in the next little bit. Still been loving that. Oh my goodness, who's excited for the Olympics to start? Very excited. I am. I love watching the Olympics. Oh. Comments below. Are you Olympic? Watchers, where should I? Uh, we don't have TV. Like we don't have like networks or. Like we don't watch TV. Uh, what streaming platform should I use? Is there something I can use to be able to watch the Olympics on? Because I'd love to know. Are you an Olympic? He just came out. Are you an Olympic watcher? Do you like watching the Olympics? I actually like watching you watching the Olympics. Oh. I like watching the kids. Like it's kind of funny. It's, you guys get really into it. Get really it. into it, especially the gymnastics. We're pretty avid. That and track and field. I love watching. Oh, and swimming. Did you know badminton is an Olympic sport? What? Badminton is an Olympic sport. Why is that a thing? You might, you could still go to the Olympic my Games. My calling. It's my <laughs> calling. We 
love badminton. We were playing it all last night. It was so much fun. He actually really, really loves it. Okay, anyway, I've been rambling for far too long. Let's head on into town, go to gym, and then we'll touch back with you guys a little bit later. peoples hope you guys are doing awesome There's so much going on I don't even know if you wonder like what are we supposed to share what are we supposed to talk about uh, we have we're dealing with like employee struggles we're dealing with uh, uh, extreme heat we're dealing with uh, rentals getting ready to get a rent one of our rentals of course Nana and Papa just left hey though uh, one thing of course is it's so hot out guys oh my goodness and I I we should not be complaining to you. I got it, because you guys are dealing with crazy heat. But I think my wife was showing you a little bit. Um, when you get in the sun, you're right around 100 degrees. And I don't know if it's just the extreme Alaskan type of sun, the angle. Whew, it's just, it's pretty it's pretty intense out there. And, there's, and then, of course, we have it for so much longer, because we can have almost 24-hour daylight right now, which is probably closer to like 20 hours. Uh, I need to go to the rental, the one that Nana was in, and go take a look at it. We always have maintenance done every time we uh, re-rent a place because they don't come open very often, so we try to have a lot of heavy maintenance. We'll bring, me, bring you over there, we'll go take a peek at that, see how close it is so we can go list it because, man, there's just a huge shortage for, um, for rentals right now or just any kind of housing. So I need to get this on the market so someone has a place to live. So, again, hope you guys are doing great and awesome. Go to the rental, then we'll figure out our day. rental aka used to be Nena's house now it's just a rental <laughs> so I uh, had an issue that we've not run into before so if you look this door actually had to be replaced and we're dealing with some issues right in here with the tile and some of the lumber some of the lumber had to be repaired never had to deal with this before but we actually had an ant problem uh, we had some moisture that came in. I mean, as you guys can imagine, it's it can be 50 below zero right outside here and 70 degrees inside. So right here at your outside walls, you can have condensation and such. Well, somehow, I think something wasn't sealed quite right uh, because some moisture got in there and the ants were attracted to the moisture. The ants came in and they were kind of burrowing and digging up um, enough that uh, we didn't feel comfortable leaving it so we actually replaced a lot of the lumber some of the structural lumber dug under the gyp crate so we have this layer of inch and a half like a lightweight concrete that we use the heated slabs for and they're even digging under that so all that had to be fixed repaired replaced but kind of a new new issue for us here so like we don't have termites here in the interior in alaska and i have not seen an issue where had ants get in uh to the house before so pretty crazy but we got it fixed, I think. We looked for everything available for rentals in North Pole, and there was zero. Scary. I've never seen that before. Pretty massive housing shortage. So we're gonna find a, a place for uh, for some family to be here because people desperately need it. That ties to like what I was telling you guys about before. This is my new, I don't know if it's a passion or a drive, but that's what I really wanna do is build small, little affordable houses. So like this little house right here, this is 830 square feet. So you have an open uh, open concept here. You come in the main door. You have your living room here, dining room, kitchen. You have two bedrooms. So this is a lot smaller bedroom here or it could be an office, right? And then you have a good sized bathroom, a little linen closet behind the door. And then a little slightly oversized master bedroom here with a good sized closet. I think something roughly this size 
um, just without the garage. And we can build several of those, maybe make like a little, like a little subdivision. We could call it like Happy Court or something. That would be kind of fun. But that's what I'm, ah, for some reason I got a pull to do that. So it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be great. Kind of use this as a base model for, uh, for designing it. It's still coming, I just, I wish I could do it this year. I just, I can't do it until next year though. Finances are not where they need to be. For us, especially with the lumber prices the way they are. And maybe they won't go down, who knows? It might be the new normal. But either way, next year, we're gonna be pushing forward on this project and I'm super excited about it. All right, as far as this all goes, I think we're in good shape here. So just a little bit of fluff, a little bit of fluff, a little bit of buff. Probably list this tonight, head back home. I think the kids are out uh, doing gymnastics or whatnot. So just had word that just showed up, kind of scary. My wife sent me a message. Um, there is a there is a bear with two cubs uh, that apparently charged someone and uh, the bear was shot but it wasn't killed so there's basically a wounded bear out there with cubs so this is like the most extreme danger situation probably gonna keep a little closer eye on the kids for the next couple days until we hear the result of that it's life in Alaska right I mean we all we have dangerous wildlife here yeah. I should probably go home now. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up and go home. Let's go. I stopped and turned, trying to find out. There might be something I forgot, but all I know is that I miss you a lot. Hello, happy peoples. We just made it back home from gym. I kind of have some news. There's a bear running loose. It's a mama bear with cubs. I don't know how many cubs, but there's cubs. And uh, yeah, bear running loose, so mommy and daddy are just keeping track and stuff. I've had a pretty good day today, guys. It's been an awesome day. It's really hot out right now. We've just been having fun today. It's been a good day. And I like that song where it goes, we, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I love that song. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's just what's been going on today. And uh, we're kind of just having some family time out here, which is fun. And yeah, I hope you guys' day went well today. All right, we're gonna get back to fun. Seven days of eternity. Seven days in another country Every cell screams stay right here And my legs they freeze us in fear We got time after this But I'll need you as my prize light hey! Even in the darkest <laughs> night Finally cooled down. Finally cooled down. Now we're just gonna watch for bear. Fine. It's gonna be fine. Did you notice we're twinning today, guys? Did you notice? <laughs> I, w I had this on earlier, and then he had another shirt on, and he's like, oh, do you want me to twin with you? And I was like, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, these are $1.97 at the store. In Denali National Park. Winning. Killing, killing the game, and we never twin. <laughs> it's like almost 11 o'clock right now. Yep. Still light. I'm tired. It was a hot day today. Holy moly. <laughs> Every time we got in the car, the kids hot. were like, I'm dying. It's so hot. Mom, turn <laughs> the air conditioning on. Just make fun of us. I know you do because you guys are in like really crazy hot weather, but there's yeah. something about the Alaskan sun here, and we've talked about it before. Like when her family and her dad, true, they were up here and they were just burning up, right? That's true. They were like, why is it so hot? I was like, don't you live in here? In Arizona? And I told, and I, and I asked her dad, I'm like, I'm like, so dad, uh, what, uh, what temperature are you used to having in the house? Like, uh, usually 80, 79. I like look at the temp thermometer and it was 69. I'm like, why are these people so hot? I don't know. It's weird. They were getting sunburned. It's There's weird. just, guys, we don't have air conditioning in our home. So most of the businesses here have air conditioning. The cool thing though is like in our last two story home, Crazy hot upstairs, but if you guys get a ranch home, it stays nice and cool on that first floor. Yeah, uh, we don't go much. yeah it's it's rough up it's there. Really it really is. Cool. As when you're having 20 what ish hours of daylight right now, it makes your garden do like this. <laughs> yeah, I actually had a comment from somebody um, who said, 
like, is it the sun? Is it all the daylight that makes your garden grow this stinking fast? And that's a hundred percent. Yes. What it is. That is why we're able to turn out these enormous things. It's because they're just constantly in the sun. Right. And they're just growing leaps and bounds, which is just phenomenal. I'll see when we go, we're going to hopefully have the fair this year and we'll take you guys to the fair, Tanana Valley State Fair, and you can see like ginormous plants that are grown because and like like turnips and squat like just massive like things that you just were like how does that even grow grow here this is right roughly six weeks just bam yep six weeks and something else it does let me hop over to the woodshed here walking over the woodshed she's uh scanning the tree line intensely <laughs> i was like for, you're not gonna leave me at the garden for the for the wounded bear yeah it's, it's fine it's gonna be fine okay well it's, you know being cautious maybe. here but something else guys it, like here in the interior not only do we have the crazy hot weather uh, And usually it's not very humid, but it allows all of our wood to dry out really fast mm -hmm. So most of this wood here um, Was technically wet. It was partially seasoned And so you can dry out as long as you have like a woodshed here where it where you can have air hit both sides You can have the Sun come down and hit dries it out really fast get way more BTUs way more heat out of your wood stove which is a huge plus same thing is you want to be able to have your wood super dry because you get more heat out of it and you burn less of it and yeah. trying to be efficient right Just a few of the things that some of this whole crazy Sun does here just a few things just trying to survive the heat for some reason Arizona people can't quite handle it uh, like lack of air conditioning can be a struggle like I said um, but having it dry out your wood and having it grow your garden like crazy is phenomenal are a couple kind of neat things and that it does makes do you feel stinking happy happy and tired to and be fair tired because you're just, you just go you're like it's 11 o'clock all right let's go stack the woodshed let's go water <laughs> the garden let's go do all the things so you get a little exhausted but Dude, we just eat this up because we're dark for so long in the wintertime. We just, yep. you guys know the drill. And then we got to transition. And we have to transition. That's another story. But by the time. What's that in the woods? <laughs> I have a hatchet. So you see, she went straight up like <laughs> hardcore Alaskan mama mode. I was going to say, oh, by the time. Stop, stop. <laughs> Watch your words, Summer. <laughs> October rolls around. Um, you're exhausted. You're tired. You're like, okay. Yeah. I'm ready to just chill. Let's stay home today. You're almost Let's ready for home. winter as, as ho well, I said yeah. the word, sorry. Don't say that word. You're, you're almost ready for a bit of a break. You guys come along, don't know what today's vlog was as usual, but uh, you guys are awesome for being here. Encourage us, you guys give us a lot of our energy of what we're trying to do and just our lives. And you guys are just, you guys help us out a lot. So yeah, you do. we appreciate you. It's late, even though it doesn't look like it. We're gonna call it a night. We're gonna call it a night. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.